Hello, this is Simeon from praisetracks.com and today I want to show you something really cool uh, with Microsoft Surface Dial and how it integrates with Cakewalk's latest update of Sonar. And uh, some of you know, are familiar with Microsoft Surface line of uh, computers and really the Surface, uh, they don't really want to call it a tablet and it's really not a laptop, it's sort of like a hybrid of the two. And recently, Microsoft introduced what was what's called the Microsoft Studio, which is basically a large touch surface that uh, is pretty pretty incredible. Um, and they introduced what's called the Microsoft Dial, and the Dial is um, is a is it's an input device, and what it does it allows you to um, use it as a control input. Uh, to adjust different parameters, to select tools, and and if you're using a Surface, you actually stick it, <laughs> you stick it on the screen, and uh, when you do that, it, it it recognizes it its position on the screen and allows you to adjust things. Um, like uh, one of the applications they use it in is a is like a Paint Illustrator program. You you're able to adjust different colors and uh, tools, tool types, and that type of thing. Uh, up until recently, it was exclusively for use with Surface products, and um, I wanted to see how it could integrate in with uh, just a regular Windows 10 setup. And fortunately, with the anniversary update to Windows 10, Microsoft introduced compatibility with the Surface dial. And to top it all off, Cakewalk, uh, they work real close with Microsoft, uh, and so they have just introduced some integration as well uh, in the latest update to Sonar. So uh, I'm looking for them just to continue to expand the uh, capabilities and the uses of this, but let's just jump right in. In order to use the Surface Dial on your Windows PC, your desktop, uh, you've got to have Bluetooth 4 compatibility. It uses the low energy standard, so uh, this, the dial itself runs off of two AAA batteries. I'm not sure uh, exactly how long the battery life is, but um, but two AAA batteries. My uh, system here did not have Bluetooth built in, so I picked up a just a small USB dongle, uh, Bluetooth 4.0, low energy compatible, and and I popped it into one of the USB ports in the front. You know everything everything works. It paired paired up great. Uh, we're going to jump into seeing how this works. What I want to do, I've got the camera set up here so you can actually see that I'm actually using the dial. When you first install the, the dial on a Microsoft setup, on your Windows setup, you know, it rotates, uh, you know, just like a, just like a physical knob would. And uh, there's uh, haptic feedback, so as you're adjusting parameters, you're going to feel some resistance, some, some little bumps, and that type of thing. So you press down, and you'll notice the different parameters and as I'm moving these parameters around I'm hearing I'm feeling like a little little bzz, bzz. so so volume will adjust your system volume and you see the um, the volume level going up and down uh, scroll will allow you to if you're in a web browser uh, let's go ahead and pull up the web browser and see it allow you to scroll up and down like that and then let's see zoom will allow you to zoom in to the in and out of the um, of the browser window or you know if you're in a paint program it'll it'll allow you to do that so let's go ahead and launch sonar here and I've got the inspector here so sonar has to be in focus so now let's see what happens when we push down you push and hold and that brings up the um, the controls so you still have volume that still is going to control system volume you have scroll of course and so what that's going to do um, if you have see now the scroll I'm scrolling the track view up and down and I'm going to go ahead and bring these controls to all so we can see some things that this is doing so now I'm going to hold bring up the uh, palette again transport and so when you when you just push when you push it it'll it'll start and stop the transport and it'll let you seek 
And then this is this is kind of like velocity, uh, so you can do real slow moves, real slow, in, uh, you know, really precise clicks. And according to your snap to, uh, it's going to snap to whatever you have that. But you can also you know spin it around pretty quick. And then when you get to the end, first measure, it's going to give you a blah 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 blah. Yeah, you, it, so it lets you know you're at the beginning. So that's the transport, which is pretty cool. Um, and this is this is where it gets really interesting. One one of the main reasons to to do the dial uh, to use it. So when you're in the track view and you select volume, for instance, uh, this is now going to allow you to use the surface dial to have a hands-on control over that. And then you can, you know, arrow arrow down and so it's going to maintain uh, so audio track is volume and then volume here on a MIDI track there we go and you can see it moving in the ins in the inspector view as well so that's pretty cool and then zoom will allow you to zoom in and out of the track view and we're going to dock the inspector over here but you can see as I turn that, it's it it's make it's zooming in and out of the timeline, making that timeline. And then, as as I said, if you get to the extreme, it's going to go. It's going <laughs> the only way I can describe it. Blah 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 is going to bump uh, with that little haptic feedback there. So, a um, couple of things. It's it's not able to do like uh, VST parameters on uh, soft sense or adjusting envelopes and that kind of thing. I really, uh, I really think that would be just some obvious extensions of using the dial, um, but uh, as of right now, this is a pretty, pretty cool way of, of just, just having another input device. You can see here I'm using a Logitech touchpad uh, here, and this is, uh, this is just my monitor control, uh, for, uh, TC electronic monitor control. So um, it's pretty interesting. I hope it's been helpful to kind of see, see some of this in action, because it's. Uh, you know, I think I think the partnership that Cakewalk has with Microsoft really is very, uh, very critical. It's very it's a very powerful combination because they're able to bring uh, new technology from Microsoft not only on the software level, the operating system level, but now with the hardware side too. So um, you don't have to have a Surface to use the Surface dial, which is fantastic. Uh, even the Microsoft uh, guys at the uh, Microsoft store here uh, where I am, they didn't realize you could do that. But uh, it just opens up a lot of new possibilities. Uh, hope this video was helpful. And please subscribe if you've not subscribed and share. Uh, and uh, just get making music. And thanks to Cakewalk and Microsoft for continuing to give us these powerful tools.